What is going on? This is Brandy, and today I'm mag unbox setup at first impression tayo nitong VG All in One Security System by TP Link. Ano po tong VG na to? Ito ay CCTV system using PoE over Ethernet. Hindi tulad ng coax na nakakabwisit. I'll tell you all about it in this video. And let's go! Thank you, Thank you Spider-Man. Spider First important piece of the puzzle is itong 8-channel network video recorder. Pwede siya lagyan ng isang HDD up to 10 terabytes. Meron siyang remote management, smart detection, two-way audio, sufficient bandwidth for 8 times 4 megapixels camera, and on this. So, looking at the size, we got 8-channel, V-surveillance solutions, on this, HDMI, and here's the QR code. Download the VG app. Okay, and on the back, we got real time live view, mass storage, practical playback, streamlined setup, and easy management. We have my kita na rin yung mga ports. Um, uh, siyang power outlet, audio in, audio out, HDMI and VGA, LAN port, and two USB ports for mouse, keyboard, or mobile hard disk, or flash drive. So, uh, on the other side, we got 8 channels, VG, input 8 channels, uh, 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 yum, 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 package contents. Okay, on to the next item, nakasama sa package, I am 6 port, 10 over 100 Mbps, it's a fast Ethernet, 4 port PoE+, plus. as you can see sa picture, 1, 2, 3, 4, I... POE para sa camera, yung isa ay para pumunta dun sa NVR, at isa ay para pumunta sa inyong network, internet connection, para pwede siyang i-access gamit niya yung remote app. So, here's the POE. Yeah, it has up to 250 meters POE transmission, priority mode, plug and play, and durable metal casing. On the sides... Same, same. Package contents. As power adapter, installation guides and rubber feet. On the back, we get more descriptions. On the sides, we get the feature and specifications. And that is it for our POE switch. And now, we got four of these. I'm just going to display one. Here's a 3 megapixel third network camera as night vision can be powered with PoE or via 12 volt DC which I skip because I don't want another mess of cable remote monitoring and smart bid on the side we got descriptions on the back we got more descriptions and even more descriptions also package contents and that's our 3 megapixel turret all right let's start to unpack got here the vg network feature recorder and here's our usb port oh they got a free mouse screws for the hard drive got power adapter and got the quick installation guide. On to the next item. We have here our 6 port with 4 port PoE. Here's 
first thing that dropped is our installation guide. Okay, this has a uh, weight to it. This is our six port switch with four port PoE. We got this chunky power adapter and the power cable and our rubber feet. Okay, on to the next item. We got our 3 megapixel turret. I guess this is from top. Okay, we got our quick start guide. We got a drill mounting template. We got some screws and here's our camera. Ethernet port and DC input. But we won't be using that. That's why I bought this. We'll be using PoE. Okay, and I guess that was it. Wala siyang... Ang tawag dun? Parang waterproofing. Anyways, gagamitin ko na. Testing and not. Set up natin. Testing. And tignan nyo. Okay, to set up first things first, what we need is to install our hard disk drive inside our network video recorder. Hard drive screw. Let's just slide up or forward. Then, as you can see, it to the pot. Yeah, align natin. Itong ngipin dito sa bibig. Okay. Like that. Pero bago yun, ilagay muna natin itong mga screw dito sa hard drive. But don't over tighten it. Para nakasabit na siya kagad dito. Pagkabit natin dito. Kapit na yung screw. Voila. O ha. Saka natin. Sisikipan. Itong screw. And our hard drive installation is done. Before natin ikabit yung power. Kabit na muna natin yung mga network connection. Connect natin siya sa either 5 or 6. Now, kailangan natin camera. Ito, hindi na natin gagamitin. So, didiretso tayo. Na POE numbered 1 to 4. Yan. Let's power them up. Yan. Yan. At ito ay hindi na natin kailangang ikabit ng power. Dahil nga, diretso siya dito. POE. Pagkamitan natin, HDMI, dahil meron akong HDMI dito. And, kabit natin yung mouse. Nasa harap yung USB port. Ha, ilaw na. And, let's look at the screen. Yeah, so here is the setup. From the Philippines, language is English, power line frequency, 60Hz. Okay, next. Set login password. Password is set successfully. Okay. For easy logging, you can also set just your password. Set it up and out. Tumutunog. <laughs> and plug and play is enabled with automatic applied to the unset cameras already plugged in your NVR. And try not to enable. And one camera found, one camera added. So, here are more settings. This. Okay. Sorry, exit. Form. Okay, baka yun yung nag beep something wrong with the hard drive format okay let's format it formatted huminto ba yung beep ah huminto yung beep so baka yun nga yung error uh, okay wala nang error as you can see here nag, nag red na siya kanina ay uh, triangle na dilaw let's go to the settings punta muna tayo sa system settings here are the basics. So, this is device name, get the language, frequency, login timeout, switching intervals, along full screen display time, setup wizard, sensitivity. Let's go to the date. 
Ang settings is NTP which means may eh, pag-usap siya sa internet para ma-determine yung time. So for now, hindi tayo nakakonect sa internet at i-manual natin. Save. Interface output. Resolution. So we got here sets of resolution. Kung luma yung monitor nyo, meron na itong box type. And here's most basic monitor. 1920 by 1080. User management, we got here the administrator, pwede tayo mag-add, firmware upgrade. Pag connected ka sa internet, siguro pwede mag-check for updates, system configuration, mag-reset, import, and screen layout. Okay, we got cloud services, ano no internet connection, so hindi pa natin siya makakonect. We got here the network, connected with no internet access, what? I'm putting a click manually auto port UPMP get events here so we have to shampoo me because on it's like full screen meron dyan motion detection video tampering area intrusion line press detection and that's exemptions Signal offline, list exceptions, login exceptions. Let's go to storage. We got here the channels. Can choose which channel, kung kailan siya mag-record. Or pwede ganito pa, motion detection lang. Advanced settings, pre-record time. And delay time. We got recording controls, hard drive management. What we put is 2 terabytes, 1861GB, pwede na yun. Tama naman. Bad sector detection, smart detection. Pwede tayo mag-export ng file. Expansion storage, after enabling expansion storage, you can save more recordings. <laughs> Long term storage. And hard drive backup. We got pan and tilt. Hindi available sa mga camera natin. <laughs> And we got camera, we got a device, uh, plug and play, we got device management, password management, pwede mo sila set by password, uh, we got firmware upgrade, pwede mo upgrade bawat camera siguro, and reboot schedule, display, we got here, pwede mo adjustment brightness, so pwede mo i-click tong number para mag-enter, or you can use the sliders. Mirror mode. Halimbawa, yung camera nyo ay kabaliktad. Ang sabit, power line frequency, or dynamic, and on-screen display. Meron dito. Date, time, and name. Epic blinking, epic not blinking. Privacy mask. Check natin. On. Save. Ilalagyan nyo ng black rectangle kung saan mo ilalagay ito. Stream. Here's the resolution. Over siya ng konti sa 1080p. Kaya siya 3 megapixels. Pag minultiply natin ito, tama ba? Video frame rate, 20 FPS, 30 FPS. Let's try 30 FPS para mas smooth ang galaw. Bit rate, variable bit rate. We got video quality. Let's go high. Maximum bit rate. Let's increase the maximum bitrate and encoding to H.265 para mas compress ang video. And save. At kita nyo ba? Ayun, up. So, yun ito yata siya meant to be na i-attach. Ganyan, ganyan siya dapat. Yan yung 10 FPS. Dyan ay binago natin. Yun o, nag-spot agad. Ibalas. Okay, so once connected ka na sa network, punta ng settings, then punta ka sa network at kung manually mo siya na-set, then lalabas dyan. Pero pwede mo siyang gawing auto para hindi ka na mahirapan and save. Yun lang, ba't wala? Yun, auto. Then sa cloud service, makikita nyo na online, TP-Link ID, yun yung email. Pwede nyo yung iscan tong code na to para mag-download ng VG app. Once na download nyo yung VG app, pwede nyo scan to para panoorin yung mga recordings. So, let's download the TP-Link VG app. Once installed, open and log in, tap the plus sign, scan the QR code, and enter the admin password that you have set on the NVR. Once that's done, you'll see your NVR and cameras in My Devices tab. What I always do first with any app is adjust some settings, like for example here, we can hide empty channels, change notifications for events, camera offline or firmware update, hard drive loop recording and status, 
video encryption, device information, change passwords, reboot schedule, and etc. In the VG app, we can view a live stream of our camera. We can also watch playback and record them as well. And once na set niya, pag niya rin kayo pumunta dito sa NTP para mag-sync siya sa server. What I hate about the old analog CCTV ay yung kable nila. It's harder to bend, very sensitive at fragile yung connectors, ang hirap din i-access dahil mas keep at dikit-dikit yung mga ports, at kailangan pa push and unscrew motion para tanggalin. Tapos kung kita nyo sa video, may mga artifact or ghosting sa mga camera na lumalabas din sa recordings at syempre nakaka-degrade sa video. Hindi tulad dito sa digital NVR, mas madali mag-install at mag-test ng cable, mas accessible ang mga ports dahil isang hilera lang sila, consistent signal at madlinaw all throughout. At sa nabili kong set, napansin ko na significantly mas malaki yung camera. So, posibleng mas malaki yung sensor at mas maganda for low light recording, which is ganun na nga. Kahit gabi na, malinaw pa rin, hindi nag-activate yung infrared night vision, at hindi nagmumukhang multo yung mga tao. Sa dami ng pros niya, may napansin lang akong isang con. Sa simultaneous playback, ang sabi ay kaya niyang mag-replay up to 4 cameras. Pero may footnote na sabi ay fewer or no channels may be available for playback if the total resolution is greater than 5 megapixels. At dahil 3 megapixels ang gamit kong camera, sinwerte pa ako na kayang ma-play ng dalawa dahil 6 megapixels na yun. Naglalabas siya ng text na limited resources at mag-switch down ng recording to substream. Pero wag na lang dahil bababa ang resolution. I guess it's a trade-off I'm willing to take. So that's my first impression about the TP-Link VG All-in-One 4-channel security system na nabili ko sa Shopee for 9300 nung nakaraang payday sale. Keep in mind na hindi pa kasama ang hard disk and cable sa package so additional cost pa sila. Naging madali lang sa akin ang installation dahil sanay na ako sa pag-setup ng ethernet cable at kompleto din ako sa gamit. Tulad ng CAT6 UTP cable, RJ45 connector, scrimping tool, network tester, at minana lang namin yung hard disk galing sa lumang CCTV. So nagustuhan ko siya dahil nga malinaw, malinis, at madali install. Isa pa, digital siya, at may IP address, so monitor ko sa computer gamit yung solar inside the monitor. One week ko pa lang siya nasa setup, so hindi ko pa masabi kung totoo bang kaya niya yung 205 days pa na 1 terabyte storage. And also in the future, baka testingin ko din yung ibang on-vif compatible camera. And I guess that's it for now. If you have any questions, you may leave them down in the comments. Also, like and subscribe if you want. Again, this is Brian G. BBJ out.